This is Sound Off 60. I want to make sure that the best team is the champion. Yeah. I want to play. And that's key. Uh, if, if, that, if that tournament comes up with this is the best team, I'm for that. Southwest Louisiana's premier sports talk television show. With me. Hey, without hey. me. Oh, that I, might be the hey. dumbest argument we've ever had. Today. You I like are the, the way most he does that. idiotic. <laughs> <laughs> if you thought that argument did not have merit, look, did not all right, McCarran. So you talking member. about my LSU quarterback? Yeah. What did you put with me? Without me. <laughs> Sound off sixty is presented by Tarver Ford in Sulphur. Give us a chance to earn your business, and by Jack Daniels Bar and Grill at La Berge Casino Resort. Here are the boys, Rick, Scooter, and Kevin. We are back here at Jack Daniels after a four-week summer July break here. It was Sound needed. Off 60. It was needed. Just a little downtime. Oh. Recharge the battery. Yeah. I'm, wake up I'm ready. Kind of I'm pumped. I'm ready. So whatever I'm you glad got, you're ready. So whatever I need you about got, two or three more weeks. Whatever you got, Rick, bring it. I could have. Bring it. No, you good. Oh, you played golf. It's not like we're you digging played, ditches here. You played golf the entire time, Scoot. I saw you. It's not like we're digging ditches here. You played golf the entire time. And you, this well, really you sir, work. also may have played golf three weeks out of the four weeks we were off. Okay? Spend, spend a little time on the hot beaches. <laughs> this is, this it's hot. I don't, see how, I don't see how those players are doing football. I really don't, man. But I'm an old dude, you know. We'll get into more of that no, a little bit later. No, Let me tell you something. It is a little warm. You know, our break in July, that, I mean, this summer hiatus that we take, it, for, for this week's inaugural show, by the way, of yeah. our 19th season, I put a calculator on it, our 19th, 19th broadcast season, season, when you factor in the year 2014 too, see that our broadcast season overlaps, 13-14, like a football season? Right. So it's our 19th year. So I don't know, we, we don't have a bell tonight. We don't, bell's have, we don't have a bell. That's the bell ringer right there. I don't I don't know. Know. You got a new table. That's a bell ringer. That's a bell ringer right there. This, I'm telling you guys, in, in, in most recent memory, this July when we're gone has served up some juicy, controversial subjects oh, for, not, goodness, for our return Rick. show this week. Rick, I, what do you I, Where start? do we begin? I mean, it's, I don't it's know. Like but served up on a silver let, look, platter for us tonight. Let me just say, let me just start it, throw it out there. And, and, and we'll say it. Manziel, did you see it coming? Did you see it honestly coming? You did. Be honest. No, I didn't you see it You saw it coming, didn't you? Saw what coming. This. This what? happening. This. this. Some you of what? Well, well, wait a minute. Controversy as to where he's at right now. Proven guilty didn't you? now. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Oh, I'm very are, serious. Are you serious? I am very serious. Let, let, me, let me preface what, if you, if you just woke up. If you watch Sports you, Center on, and ESPN, I think those guys are pretty credible. You put, you put a lot of credit. Well, you put a well, lot of, remember, ESPN had Miles going to Michigan one time. And we're going to preface the story. And I made a mental note. This same program, Outside the Lines, reported that Saints general manager Mickey Loomis was listening in. Remember that whole story? It's yes, the same program. Yes, yes, Was he exonerated? Yes. Was he cleared? Yes, he was. By yes. state investigators, state police, and some state, I don't know, some state officials looked into the yeah. whole matter. He was cleared. So anyway, look. Johnny Manziel allegedly, according to Outside the Lines, accepted Let's payment for autographs. It, it would yeah. fit the pattern. Is what? <laughs> it would fit the pattern. Yes, it would. I think I have to agree with Scooter. Johnny Manziel is the best thing that's happened to sports writers yeah. in oh, years and I'm years telling and you. years. I'm telling you. He's, I'm te but look, yeah. it would be a colossal, a colossal act of stupidity if he did that. And you know Come what? Come on. And it is a I mean, it's a basic when, rule the, the, yeah. of the Particularly NCAA. when you know they spent the whole summer kind of... The, 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 the PR spin on, yeah. on Manziel has been, hey, he's a rich kid. He don't need yeah. the money. Yeah, and you're right, school. So right. And, school, you're right. and the thing autograph. is, you know what? You know, a kid of his status, you went in the Heisman as a freshman, you're supposed to have handlers that are, that are around you to make sure that this never even takes place or anybody even has anything to say about this because you've got the right well, people wait, around I you. I disagree with well, you. But wait, Scooter, but Scooter you are different. Hands. But apparently you are different. A little you're a Heisman with, Trophy winner. Okay, apparently, there's some friction between the Manziel family and A and M right now. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> oh God. I mean, oh. Well, I'm serious. Oh. I mean, I was at SEC Media Days, and that was at the cir the Manziel Circus. Really? For that, would rank right up there with with any of them I've seen. In fact, I'm, I'm a little behind the scenes. You know, there's that big podium that the coaches talk mm -hmm. on. Well, the, the assumption was when man, because you know this was right 
This was like three days after the Manning Passing Academy yeah. story broke. Yeah. So the assumption was that, you know, he'll be up on this main podium, uh, like Tim Tebow would uh -huh. be on that main yeah. podium when he was in Florida. A few others, uh, I think McFadden from Arkansas yeah. before his last mm -hmm. year. But and I, but I talked for some people in the SEC. I said, why don't you, why don't y'all put him yeah. on? The, I mean, it's going to be a zoo if they use one of the smaller right. ones. Uh -huh. And they said, well, you know, A&M had that option, but A&M didn't want to. But anyway, so the, the way it works in that huge ballroom is there's three stations for players. Uh huh. Well, you want to see the Maytag repair man? You should have seen those other two A and M oh, players in there. Uh, Are you serious? Yeah, that's that's not. Fair. But I mean, but I, I I actually got kind of lucky, and I don't I, I don't know how, but I was like the podium would hit you right about here, mm -hmm. and I was I think it was only one person in front of me with, you know, the the hordes the yeah. hordes behind right. me pressing right. forward, but we're sitting there with our tape recorders and all. And then I'd look around, and every now and then I'd make eye contact with, you know, another sports writer mm -hmm. yeah. that I'd know or something. Mm -hmm. And we'd look at each other like, is this nuts yeah. or what? Yeah. What are we doing here? Yeah. Uh, that, that's, but, a, that's a good observation. Oh, you know, what are we doing? Yeah. Because the media has also proliferated this Johnny football, Johnny oh, yeah, Heisman. So it's, it's, he's added to it. He's added yeah, he to has. it. He has. I mean, you know, he's got a lot of kutzbah to go reportedly, and I think you <coughs> mentioned it in one of your columns, to go to Austin and crash a fraternity party at the University of Texas. Yeah, now, come yeah. on. Yeah, that's right. You're going to get something thrown at you. He's an Aggie. He's going to Longhorn Country. Yeah. But he's got some kutzbah. I give no. him that. Well, look. I'm Kevin, telling you, he's innocent until proven guilty. He is, Rick. You're right. But I agree with Scooter. It just looks bad. It, is a it pattern. just looks bad but right now. It is a basic rule of the NCAA. You like should Ohio know that. Ohio State recently went through. You, you cannot just, you receive any I mean, monetary I don't, I don't value know. while you are a college through. athlete. Can't do it. I don't, I don't know if he's going to get through uh, this autograph thing or not. Don't really care. But it's a huge story, Scooter. Oh yeah. It's huge. Yeah. I mean, it, when I first heard it, I said, "What?" Took a few bucks from people. No, I'm, was, I'm pretty sure it's more than that. This was a big time autograph oh, yeah. show. Oh yeah. From what they're saying. Okay. Oh yeah. But I mean, that that's pretty dumb. There's pretty good paper trail for stuff oh, like yeah. that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But you know, I don't know what do they do to him. I don't know. But there's going to be something else next week. I mean, mm. the, the guy is just a magnet. He for is. Yeah. I mean, and, and look, he could be. There is conspiracy theories out there that the NCAA is targeting him because of his off-season shenanigans and well, going here, well, going I don't but know. But you know what? He's good for college football. But I don't know why. Rick, and that's the point I want to say, Rick. He's a Heisman you know, Trophy winner. This kid right, right here, you don't, you don't want to. I mean, just like you wouldn't want to take something away that's going to be so exciting this year for sports. By doing this to this kid, so targeting him, that's going I'm a little bit I would, I, think, I, think I, would, I would think the last thing the NCAA wants is a suspended house. Exactly, of course. exactly, yeah. Scoot, I agree, I mean, totally. CBS and, and, and whatever networks that are going to be ca carrying A&M and Alabama, what, yeah. September 14th? I mean, yeah. that's a huge yeah. game. Oh, and look. then, of course, A&M at Baton Rouge against LSU yeah. is going to be LSU. huge. Every time he plays a big SEC Every game Every time he steps on the field. conference it's going to be a huge ratings That's going to be a huge revenue for, for the NCAA school. For NCAA and, for the, and look, for the broadcast network. I, I just think Johnny needs to just get to a point to say, well, look, you've got all this talent. I mean, you're a great kid. I mean, kid, just calm down. Do you think it's going to happen? Really? It needs to. I don't know. Scooter. If he gets through this, but if he Johnny, gets through this, Johnny, now, I mean, if he this gets kid, through this, I mean, a and going to put the You clients. get on the David Letterman show, I mean, you know, your head's got to be this big because, I mean, you know, come on now. I mean, the kid you is that big. you never been on Letterman show? Mm. Right, way we'll end that there. Way I see this right. kid. We'll end that there. Johnny's everywhere. <laughs> All right. We might get back on Johnny Menzel. We'll see how the show progresses. All right. Yeah. We, we want to welcome uh, a, a, a new advertising partner to Sound Off 60, yes. Dr. Brent Cassio, one of the leading Glad to have orthopedic him. surgeons, sports medicine uh, physicians in southwest Louisiana. He's yeah. joining the ranks. And you'll, you'll see his message uh, throughout the show. Dr. Brett Cassio with Memorial Hospital Sports yes. Medicine Group. Uh, and, of course, all the regulars are back yes. for our 19th Glad to have them all broadcast back, year. All right. We're up against the clock. Jeremy Hill. LSU. Another Look. big story. Yeah. Tommy McClendon. No longer AD at McNeese. No. Another big story. No. 
A Rod suspended yeah. but appealing. Oh, but Yet another what? big story. Where is the bell, That's, Kevin? A Rod is going to be a big topic for us tonight because oh well, we've got right. some opinions We're on We're going to do that more when we come back. We'll get on Jeremy yeah, Hill and well, the LSU I know Tigers. You do. When we come back in two, right here at Jack Daniels at LaBear's <laughs> Casino. Stay right here. Sound Off 60 is brought to you by Tarver Ford in Sulphur. Give us a chance to earn your business. And by Jack Daniels Bar and Grill at LaBear's Casino Resort. So what is this fantastic, fabulous, f it's fun-tabulous? Never heard of it. it. Is that a word? Yep. And you made this up? Mm, well, well, you can't make up words. I didn't. Customers did. Really? Mm -hmm. It's a combination of fun, fantastic, and fabulous. It's what our customers tell us they feel like when they leave Tarver Ford. So your customers love you so much, they make up cool words about you? Yep. Come on, man. I'm telling you. Legendary parties don't wait for the weekend. So Thursday nights at LaBerge Casino Resort's Liquid Society Pool Concert Series is the place to be. It's a summer of epic headliners, including Kenny Wayne Shepherd, Robert Randolph and the Family Band, X Factor winner Tate Stevens, DJ Pauly D, Eli Young Band, Summerland Tour 2013, featuring Everclear, Live, Filter and Sponge, 311 and more. Tickets start at only $10 and can be purchased at Ticketmaster.com, Legends of the LaBerge Business Center. For a complete concert lineup, visit MyLaBerge.com. Wow. Well, see, see You know I see it. I seen it before you did it. You come on, man. You know I saw that before you even said anything. Say what? Tell me what you see. You already know what I'm seeing. <laughs> so you see what I'm saying, right? I saw it. I'm seeing it right now. I'm looking right at it. Never right, stop. right. Get this. Get oh, oh, see now? Yeah. 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 The new bottle? What's there to say? The new Miller Lite bottle. Find one at a bar near you. Dr. Cassio is my choice. Dr. Cassio is my choice. Dr. Brett Cassio is fellowship trained and board certified in both orthopedics and sports medicine. He has the tools, techniques, and experience to get athletes back on the field to play. Call 337-494-4900. Dr. Brent Cassio is the official sports medicine physician of Sound Off 60. All right, welcome back to Jack Daniels. Oh, hello there, Jack Daniels of LaBarish Casino. Hey, like want to remind you folks, uh, the homegrown comedy show, Jen Cobra, yes. still going on. Look, through the month of August, everybody every I Wednesday, talk to say, this girl's a hoot, man. Everybody. Finally made a show. Did you? Finally made a show about get three you? weeks ago. Let me Did tell she you. Get I, you? I, I was, oh, you don't want to say. I can't repeat the joke. You don't, you don't want to say. I was rolling. I'm, I'm scared was to go, rolling. Rick. I'm actually scared to go to one. I was I don't don't sit in the front because she'll spot you. Good tell me why, you know, during our hiatus, y'all need to bring Jen Colbert back. That's the only way to shut Kevin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a great observation. Every Wednesday, she wasn't getting Jack anything Daniel. out of me that day. Nothing. You were pretty quiet during that Nothing. segment. Uh, Nothing. Jen Colbert's homegrown comedy. She was great to have on, Jack man. Daniels. By the way, she mentioned on our show, when she appeared on our show. Yeah. We hope to have her back. For we a should quickie, have her back. We should for a quickie before she has to go back to Hollywood. Yeah. But yeah. they're starting to run trailers on her show with Harrison Ford. Mm -hmm. She's in this new movie with Harrison she Ford talked called about Paranoia. That, right? she was here, yeah. They're running trailers. It should be at theaters, I think, mid-month, mid-August. It's, it's coming very, She's very She's blowing soon. up, man. It looks She's like a very up. suspenseful movie. So, She's uh, blowing up. Uh, anyway, I'm excited congratulations for her, man. to Jen Cope. I am, She's yes. Just, uh, she Home is a grown. hoot, as Gidry and Hobbs would say. All right. Baton Rouge, LSU, number Scooter, one rushing give it to us. running give it back to us, for the LSU Tigers. Scooter's got the story. I guess the fact that's come out, is that the probation hearing before the district judge in Baton Rouge moved up from August 16th, with, where it was originally scheduled, uh -huh. to today, yeah. on Monday, August 5th. Which I 5. understand is out of the ordinary. Very but much so. Be honest. But we're talking LSU. Yeah. Hey, quote, we're talking the leading on, rusher. What are you his talking attorney, about? His attorney has apparently had a conflict with her oh. Schedule. Oh, yeah. Couldn't but, make it, school. That's what it was. He well, couldn't make that day. It, it is kind of odd for that. Well, the judge uh, basically tacked on a little more probation, no mm -hmm. jail time, no additional mm -hmm. uh, anything. Bottom line, she cleared the way. It's up to Les Miles right. now, and it's probably happening as we speak. Right. Yeah. Uh, she cleared the way for it. I mean, this is this is a tough one for Les Miles. I, I got to think. But you know what, Scooter? It is, and and you know. Les has done a lot of things for we a lot of... We don't know what he's... By the time people are watching this, they'll probably know. Yeah. But 
you know, le- less than we've seen. You know, we've seen kids that have gotten into trouble with less being there as the head coach and stuff and how he's dealt with it. And some of them he's been pretty harsh with. And he's been mm-hmm. said, this is it. I'm not tolerating it anymore. But when you look back at Jeremy Hill, you know, you have to say to yourself, it was a boneheaded thing that he did, being in the bar, first of all, and getting into a scuffle, a little altercation. But when you look at the big picture of what it was, and I think Scooter said this a while back. Don't be putting words in my mouth. I don't know what you're coming he didn't, up with. Here. He didn't go there with the intent of wanting to hurt anyone. It's Who's something that, that... I didn't say that. Jeremy Hill. Yeah, I thought I'm you, not I thought you said that. Okay. Okay. What do you mean, but, go there with the intent of well, hurting With anybody. the intent of wanting to get into an altercation or something like that. Well, of course it you was did. There. I don't think anybody goes out. It was, that. well, some people go to bars to get into fights. So, yeah, you said he was baited and Well, someone, but you know what, and, I think, and, I, and I think that's got to be something that you've got to consider, Rick, to right, say. Right, okay. You know, that could have happened to any one this, of us. This, this. Could have happened to me. I'm not I, getting in a fight. I promise you that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> so what I'm saying, and that may have been what the judge may have looked at to say, you know, you know what, Jeremy, look, all right now, don't want to see you again. The so, things that I read. If you ever hear I, about me being in a fight, you know somebody else yeah, going to jail. Really? Because I didn't start. <laughs> look, the things that I read prior, uh, uh, you know, about the, 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 the earlier charge of carnal knowledge yeah, when he was in high yeah, school, and yeah. the seriousness that this judge took. Maybe I was reading a bit too much. Mm-hmm. I thought, and I mentioned prior to the, on, on our yeah. show about four or five weeks ago, this could be a, a tricky little area. She could get him in front of her court and say, and lay the hammer down and put him on a much uh, stiffer and probation. Could. And she and could. Maybe well, he could have went that, through half the year. It's the same the year, judge who knows? that laid down the probation terms for his first Yes. Yeah. Yes. It is the yeah. same judge. It so, is. So, so, so I thought it was tenuous. I, guess, I thought it yeah. would go either so, way. I guess what the judge has said and what Scooter just reported to us about what the judge has said when giving her, you know, of whatever's going to happen to him, I think Les Miles can evaluate that and look at that and say, you know what, this judge has looked at it and decided that this is what needs to be done for us for punishment for it. Deserves yeah. leniency to a degree. That's right. what I'm saying, Rick. What is, what is the group consensus here that going into the week – what will LSU or Les Miles decide with Jeremy Les Miles Hill? has got to do something to make a point to okay, the other Okay, what do you think well, it'll I be? Mean, suspension. I think, I, think, I think there's going to come a suspension. I think I, there may be a sm- slight there's, suspension. There's two factors, and we're, we're speculating on something that will be common knowledge, I'm assuming. He may not, he may not announce his decision yeah. right now. <clears throat> I mean, you have to assume, you know, at least two, three games mm-hmm. suspension. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. The reason I think it will be, if... if, if I mean, Les Miles didn't really need to wait on this judge. Right. I mean, what he did to know if he could play. Right. Exactly. Right. I mean, exactly. it'd be hard for him to be in jail. jail. Yeah. It'd be hard for exactly. him to play in jail. Right. But I don't think anybody thought the judge was going to send him to jail. Uh, I didn't. No. I, I really didn't. I thought she could slap some but stiff she could have, yeah. Thing, uh, but if, if, if Les was going to kick him off the team, mm-hmm. I think he would have already done. He would have already it. He done. I agree with you, Scooter. Judge, right. I agree I with you. you. I got you. I got you. I don't know if this is a an offense serious enough for that. I really yeah. don't. Yeah. But and uh, you know, no, we're reading into no, this, and no. I'm with you. It's probably going to be two or three games suspension. Yeah. yeah. It's probably going to be I that, mean, and that's, that's and that should teach him. You a have lesson. to do that, you, and you're exactly that right. Teach right. him an extra. And, and, well, and I think he's other guys. I think he's learned his lesson. Ah, you would think so. These knuckleheads. You would think so. You know, I don't the, know what the, it is, the, the Jeremy just, Hill thing yes. coming to a head, the Johnny Menzel thing. Now, A Rod, uh, A Rod's 38 years old. I know that, but, but I mean, you, know they learn you know what they learned. I'm going to tell you I what it is. I sat right there and heard Johnny Menzel say, and, and you know, he hadn't broken any laws. Mm-hmm. I sat right there and heard him with my own two ears mm-hmm. say, I'm going to use this as a learning yes. experience. I get yeah. so sick of that phrase. <laughs> yeah. I'm use it and I'll learn Look, from this, Johnny. and I'm going to be. And a week later, he's at the, at the uh, yeah. UT yeah. Uh, fraternity park. Right, yeah. right, right. But this yeah. alleged alleged payment for autographs happened yeah. way back in yeah. Like yeah. January, BCS yeah. game when he went and to you know, Miami, it's, you know? It's, it's crazy well, that, that, no. that we're just hearing about it now. That's the thing that gets hey, me why, sometimes. Why, why you know, A&M suspend why? him for the first two games? That bring him back for their Alabama game. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's possible. Yeah, right. Scooter. I don't know who they yeah. open up with. I, but, yeah, I think right. uh, Stephen Apple or Sam Houston. Yeah. 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 I don't think we need him for the right first two. Right yeah. And the other one is uh, 
barely one yeah. of the other. Yeah, yeah, I think, no. well, LSU It'll opens up with exciting. TCU, we all know yeah. that, in right. Dallas, and then they come back with, with uh, UAB. Second, UAB. UAB. Yeah, UAB. I think okay. that's right. Okay. So, right. you know, hey, TCU, TCU might be a little hey. tougher yeah. than that. Uh, TCU's pretty good. TCU's a good, good program. Yeah, they all can right, build the ball pretty good. We're going to leave it there when we come back. We'll talk about McNeese State. They're in need of a McNeese. new athletic director. Yeah. While we were gone, Tommy yeah. McClendon. McClellan. McClellan, sorry. McClellan. Did I say and McClellan? And you have McClendon. to say. Yeah, I've yeah. got LSU on yeah. my mind. Charlie Max on my mind. And you have to say, you know, for him, Tommy, you know, what a well, great opportunity. We're, we're going to break, man. Okay. Well, the bell. We're missing off. the yeah. bell that we could it's cut. Been, it's Gidry been four off. weeks, Scoot. I'm trying to get back. <laughs> Bring Jen Cover out four. here with you. Yeah, really. We'll talk about the McNeese AD situation when we come back to Jack Daniels at LaVarish Casino. Stay right here. Sound Off 60 is presented by Jack Daniels Bar and Grill at LaBerge Casino Resort and by Tarver Ford, Beglas Parkway in Sulphur. Press app today. It's all at your fingertips. News, sports, advertising, entertainment, and video delivered through your Apple or Android mobile device. Capture the informative power of the American Press, Southwest Louisiana's premier source for news and advertising. Get your American Press app today. Download it for free through your iTunes or App Store. You'll love the look and feel of our newest digital offering. The app flawlessly delivers the local news most important to you in a new, striking layout. Get your American Press app today. Choosing your doctors and healthcare professionals is an important and personal decision and one that you should feel totally comfortable with. Hello, I'm Dr. Trisha Guidry and I'd like to welcome you to our clinic where your health and well-being is our top priority. I'm a board certified OBGYN and a graduate of LSU. My dedicated staff and I would like to invite you to call for a consultation and appointment. You will experience the trust, comfort, and medical treatments you deserve. We are Dr. Trisa Guidry. This is Jack Daniels. This is the universe that we play in here this at Jack it. Daniels LaBerge. Every Casino. Monday. Welcome. You're our new big shot, we're going to call it. Every Monday, Off yes. Off the big truck, Every the big Monday. shot here for the big show. Every Monday. All right. Speaking of right big here. shows, pool party. Still Ooh. going on all the way through probably Labor Day weekend. We've extended Still hot. it. We've extended it. Beyond Labor the Day? The shows were just, well, no, up until Too that. Okay. Normally, yeah. Normally, it's already getting close to being cut off but we extended it. This Thursday, Party by the Pool, Buck Cherry will be on stage. Now, we were gone traveling. Yeah. Apparently, we missed a real big show. You didn't. Uh -uh. Can't comment what, on that. The, the, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? the Bikini Bombshell can't, Finals. Can't comment we on missed that. it. Can't comment on that. New. Where is the bell when I need it? Ever not. <laughs> this is better than having Jen Cobra. We just bring up the Pagini Bond yeah. show. Yeah. I know Miss Gidry's watching. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hear from Gidry. Can't come on this say it on camera. Woo! It was a great show. Oh, it was a, a great, great show. lineup of talent. Oh, yes, it and was. They, and, they, and they crowned yet yes. another beautiful yes, champion of again, the Bikini Rick. Bombshell yes. competition. Yes, but they did. But this Thursday, Party by the Pool, let me tell you, there hasn't been much rain, so I don't think rain's coming. It's no, hot. It's you got to go by the pool and have it a is. good time because it's no, it's great out there. on the stage. All right, Every guys, Thursday. Uh, let's get to McNeese State. Before we get into LSU football reporting, McNeese reporting, uh, the Saints, we got a lot to talk about. Yeah. My gosh, it's like a plethora of subjects. Um, while we were away, mid-July, Tommy McClellan uh, went to Louisiana Tech to talk to, to the Rustonites, if you will, and they offered him a job, and he took the job a, as athletic director. I don't think that anybody see that coming. Nobody. Yes, you I did. did? Yes. did you? I didn't. I didn't but see it coming. But not so much Louisiana Tech. 
Uh, because you know, what it was a week or two prior, what, is it Bruce Vandevel, their AD, yeah. resigned. The yeah. opening came up very yeah. quickly. Yeah. But I was had sources tell me that he did talk to Louisiana Monroe. Really? And he did interview with Louisiana Monroe. So I knew he was on the market. I knew he was shopping his, his talents. I didn't know he was going to get the job. Yeah. And yeah. I didn't know Louisiana Tech was opened up until their AD resigned. And Louisiana well, this what, did come around very that's quickly. That's a D1 school, right? Oh, yes. FBS. Louisiana, that's, that's second largest university in the state. Yeah. So. You. It's a great move. It's a great move for McClellan. You can't blame No, it him. is. No. Triples his I salary. Said that. I said that. Bigger conference, you know, bigger Magnus, school. I know they hate to lose him. But you know what? You're looking at people that you've had under the ranks here at this school that have moved on to do bigger and better things. You cannot knock that. No, you, can't you also knock that. can't name many. It's a good Most point. people retire at That's right. a good point, Scooter. You <laughs> are right. Point. No, that, that's a very good point. That is a good point. Um, now, most of them don't become AD or, say, head coach when yeah. they're, what was he, 28 yeah. or something? He's at about the time? 32, 33. Yeah, oh, yeah. at the time, that's he right. became AD. 28, yeah. 27, You're 28. Right. So yeah. I remember, so, and, 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 I, and I, I threw it into a line out column. I remember Dr. Robert A. Bear mm -hmm. telling me when, because, you know, look, on the record, I can't speak for you two guys. Yeah. On the record, I was not a McClellan supporter for the AD position when it became open when he was given really? the job. I was not. Really? Okay. I mean, he proved I, me I never, wrong in, yeah. in many respects. He did a, a he did a very good job. No, he did. At, somewhat learning on the job. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Were there weaknesses and strengths? Of course, there are in, in any right. situation. Right. Right. But I remember Dr. Robert Abraham saying and looking me in the eye when he knew I was critical of the appointment, saying, McNeese and this region is going to be lucky if, the, if McNeese can hold him for five years. And he was really? pretty much right on. Well, you know. Pretty much right on because he knew he was a rising talent. He's become a great friend of the show and a great friend of the three of us. All. He said, no, so, he, he uh, looked. No he, did, he, we, did a, he, he was a, a tireless worker. He did a good job. Were there some shortcomings? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they were. Of course. And he talked about some of those, Rick. Yeah. He talked yeah, about right. them. So, so, so it was some, no surprise. Some, all right, let me, let me throw this out. Some built in problems that go with that, that job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Especially with Jindal and the whole administration yeah. and, and with the and cutbacks. Cutting this, Huge. cutting that is a tough position. Did it surprise you the speed at which Louisiana Tech did it? And did it surprise yeah, it was you? Like a week and a half. Yeah. yeah. Did it surprise yeah. you that they didn't go to an associate AD at LSU, University of Texas, right. Baylor? Somebody no, you're right, bigger. Rick, that's a good point. I mean, they went you know to what? an AD well, at an FCS. You know because, I mean, I don't think Tech and McNeese have a lot of interaction anymore. Yeah. No. You know, they play what? Baseball, I guess. Basketball. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. Basketball. Yeah. Basketball. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it, particularly as quick as it happened. Yeah. I mean, that, that surprised yeah. me. Yeah. And, and so, you know what? The thing that, and I don't know that, but just knowing the time that he was here at McNeese, you would think that he probably had those people at Tech knowing and looking at all of what he was doing to have that guy that you could say that was kind of grounded and rooted in this area. Because when you look, when you look, look at it, I mean, the geographics of where he's at, you're not talking about a large no, and, you, know, and you, you he, still got that circle his, his, of communication his that's still there. His quote was, they came to him. Yeah. They came to him to say, are you interested? Can you, do you want to come pretty on? Big. They oh, pursued man. him, yeah. you know. That's pretty so big. So he did a good interview, made a great impression, and got the job. So kudos to him for doing that. Big now, time. where does that leave McNeese? I mean, Looking for a, season, a new AD. A football season. A, a semester about to begin. Yeah, you, uh, look yeah, at all you the change-up. I mean... You know, the football program yeah. lost a strength coach. They got a new D.C. Now the A.D. It's, is gone. Uh, you know, there a lot of somewhat of, I'm not saying it's tumultuous, but there is, there's a lot of change no, I mean, and, and, and my thing is, you know, and, and, and I don't know, guys. Rick, you may be a little bit more in tune to where it's at right, right now for us, for what the hiring aspect is looking the, like the right now. The wheels of the waiting, athletic department don't stop turning, though. Oh, no. Right, no, no, right. no, no. But waiting, waiting and letting this much time pass, do you think that they would go outside of somebody that they would probably have knowledge of or knowing of for this job? Well, I think, uh, you know, Dr. Williams has stated, look, they're going to they're not going to they're going to get through this process, but they're not going to rush it. I hope mm -hmm. they don't rush it because right. to your point, yeah. they don't have to rush this thing. Right. I mean, right. put, they, they got to get the I mean, you've got a head coach in you, place. You, well, yeah, to get like, through the season. Like, that's you know, that's you know, not the problem. There's no coach there. Yeah, yeah you exactly. Coach. I mean, exactly. You, know, you got to get some season ticket sales going. You got to right. get the right marketing message right. out and that whole thing. But, but there this are is an important there hire. that do that. I agree with you. I agree with you on that. I agree with you. But having somebody in place adds a little bit of more security to what you can feel for the year. Search committee. 
get it to three to five. Williams says he's going to take the, the finalists, the top candidates around the region, do some introduction, yeah. get a little warm and fuzzy feeling, see what the region, basically what he did. Right. Smart move. So, so let me Smart ask this move. question. It's that maybe, big of a hire. Scooter, they you made that. note. Now, the, um, the people that actually do the picking for this, is it every head coach from each sport? No. There's a search committee. The committee. That you actually Richard Martin Martin you know, heads the search, search committee. committee. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Academia types. Okay, I thought, it, okay. I thought it was each head coach some, from each athletic no, no, program. No, no, no. Every school people. might do it different. Okay, yeah. okay. I mean, Dr. No Williams is going to have the okay. final say so. Right. He's going to hire the man. Okay. He's going to, the committee yeah. will, will narrow it down probably to four to five. Yeah. And then he's going to hire somebody. But okay. look, if they got 140 to 150 candidates, I couldn't the believe that they position, had that many. You said that they're going to get a lot of, they're going to get a lot of candidates. I couldn't believe that they had that many. They're going to get a lot of candidates for this position. There's no doubt about that. All right. Up against the clock. That's another big story. Yes, All it right. is. Next Locally, one up, too. Let's talk LSU McNeese and reporting to camp. I know it's yes. early, but they're in camp. We've got Woo! things to talk about. We've got A-Rod to talk about. Man, like I said, chocker block full. We'll come back in about two minutes. Man. Stay right here. We are worldwide, 365 and 24-7 at soundoff60.com. Sound Off 60 is presented by Jack Daniels Bar and Grill at LaBerge Casino Resort and by Tarver Ford Sulphur. Back after this break. Dr. Cassio is my choice. Dr. Cassio is my choice. Dr. Brett Cassio is fellowship trained and board certified in both orthopedics and sports medicine. He has the tools, techniques, and experience to get athletes back on the field to play. Call 337-494-4900. Dr. Brent Cassio is the official sports medicine physician of Sound Off 60. So what is this fantastic, fabulous, f it's fantabulous. Never heard of it. it. Is that a word? Yep. And you made this up. Mm, well, well, you can't make up words. I didn't. Customers did. Really? Mm -hmm. It's a combination of fun, fantastic, and fabulous. It's what our customers tell us they feel like when they leave Tarver Ford. So your customers love you so much... They make up cool words about you? Yep. Come on, man. I'm telling you. Wow. What? See what I see? You know I see it. I seen it before you did it. You? Come on, man. You know I saw that before you even said anything. Say what? Tell me what you see. You already know what I'm seeing. Hm. So you see what I'm saying, right? I saw it. I'm seeing it right now. I'm looking right at it. Never right, right. Get it. Get it. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. The new bottle? What's there to say? The new Miller Lite bottle. Find one at a bar near you. All right, welcome back to Jack Daniels at La Bears. Uh, hey, welcome to our 19th broadcast. Man, year. we're glad we to be here, shot man. Coming Jeez. high above Jack Daniels. Yes. You get an idea. This is really a nice view, man. Yeah. This great view. Oh, we must have, I must have been like 15 when we started this. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, all right. Were, yeah, maybe 18 <laughs> when you started this. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, we've covered a lot of ground. Let me just throw this out to you. Uh, and we're going to get into it later on in the show. Do you tip on a takeout order? You have when to. When you pick up food, you have to. do you tip? You have to. Really? You have on to. On a takeout order? Somebody's got to make it. You called it in. They bring Somebody's it to the counter. Somebody's got to make it, You've got to get out of your car. Somebody's got to make it, Rick. Yeah. Somebody's got to make it and bring it to you, Mr. Hobbs. you tip? You have to tip what do on you a takeout. Tip? Hey, you don't. Who I'll, go, go balls? Who normally, go balls? Gucci Normally I do 20% on a set down. All right. But for a takeout, I'm gonna do 15. Wow! Wait a minute. Do you know what? Do you understand the concept? Of yes, I do. Out? Yes, I do. It's being 16%? fixed, and you're not there. You're just to pick it up. But somebody's got so to fix it. Go to somebody's got to bring it to you. You go to McDonald's, you tip 15 percent. That's a fast food restaurant. You expect to do that. Oh. At a restaurant, you don't expect that. You go there you for them to prepare. Don't expect them to fix your food. At a restaurant, it's not a fast food takeout. But it's not a fast <laughs> food takeout. If I order the food, if you I go to a Wendy's or a McDonald's, your, that's a takeout. That's what we do. <laughs> when you go to a restaurant, that's a sit down. You don't expect that, so you have right. to tip the, on a takeout. The tip is for the waitress. I agree, right? uh -huh. I agree. Uh -huh. I agree. Maybe totally. in, in your case, the wine sommelier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, they all get a little piece. Yeah. Of hey, look, just out of common courtesy, I think that somebody's got to do it. All right. What somebody's we're referring to is Drew Brees a couple of weeks ago in San Diego good prior point. to coming to camp. Uh, yeah. Apparently, a, a, a restaurant he goes with his family. Yeah. Uh, picked up like a $74 order and yeah. left a $3 tip. 
Yeah. The, it got out. It got yes, on it the did. internet, the manager, Twitter, everything blew up. The manager said he was actually a big tipper because on a takeout order, they normally get no tip. Yeah. Three really? Bucks. Hey, look. I don't well, he's know. What, he's under fire because they signed that you, $100 million contract. Yeah, well, it's but a takeout. Yeah, he I'm sorry. I don't, I don't tip on takeout. It wouldn't have made a dip. I don't tip on takeout. It wouldn't have made a dip. I do. I don't tip on I takeout. Do. I, I do. don't either. I do. I, do. I don't know. All right. We'll get into that later. We'll have a little bit more fun with that. All right. I do. Uh, all right. Let's get back on it, guys. Uh, McNeese, uh, they'll, they'll get the Cowboys. <laughs> Welcome yeah. them in on Tuesday. Open practice uh, for their season opener August 31st at South Florida on Wednesday. LSU opens up also that Saturday night in Dallas at Jerry Land yes. against TCU. Jerry they Land it is. Yesterday. Jerry World. Jerry, Jerry World. World. I like Jerry Land, Jerry World. Jerry World. Uh, what day is it today? Today's Monday, so they were they came rolling in yesterday in yeah, Baton Rouge. They, they yeah. started today. Yeah, 103, so they opened up Ken. 103 minus Jeremy Hill. Yeah. yeah. But we'll know more a little bit later on. Uh, so anyway. Before we get on McNeese, uh, we all know the inner workings. Anything came to no, all all players. I'm, all I'm that curious. Was suspected to report did report. Tell at me, LSU. tell me, Rick, is you? Uh, um, and don't ask me his name now. There's one still waiting on clearing out. Right. One through pressure. Robinson. 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 Yeah. Clearing yeah. NCAA grades. Academics. Yeah, the clearing house. Okay. Rick, Go ahead, Rick update on McNeese because you keep up with him a lot. You write on him a lot. Um, any word on the big guy at quarterback? That's my. That's who I'm. Cons- I mean, the big guy quarterback from Maggie. What's his name? The 6'5 guy? Oh, you mean kid. the redshirt freshman? The redshirt no, freshman, yeah. Gonna, no, he's not going to be a fan. Nothing. Unless. Okay. Something bad happened. Yeah, I don't know about like, okay. a lot of injury. Uh, okay. One of the interesting storylines that we jumped into the Cowboys, speaking of quarterbacks, is, uh, is, is, is Briscoe, Wes Briscoe. Mm-hmm. I mean, talk about. Uh, you know, just 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 bad greed, greed, bad luck. The yeah. injuries, the you know. Yeah, and we literally, his, about he that. and his brother, the, the wide receiver Briscoe, came in together out of what is it, Central Baton Rouge, one of yeah. those Baton Rouge schools. Mm-hmm. Literally, his brother is now a senior. He hasn't played a down, down. for McNeese. He's still technically a sophomore. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's had at least three injuries. That's tough, in the man. That is Supposedly, tough. he's healthy. That's we're gonna tough. get. We're gonna see more Briscoe, and and will he be a factor in yeah. the quarterback race? That's will he tough, literally man. dress out and, and boy? Man, you know, all prayers and thoughts it go is, with this man, kid to stay healthy. He's been to through a lot, To finally get the, the blue and gold. So that's an interesting side yeah, the Briscoe kid and that whole thing. But, no, you're talking about the red shirt yeah, out of Yeah, I just Texas. thought maybe no, something might have come. No. Okay. It, it, it's Cody Stroud. He's the quarterback. Yeah. He's the starter. Yeah, Cody's, that's, that's where it's going to fall. Cody Stroud. Now, on the LSU side, I everybody knows. I'm see what happens at quarterback Look. at LSU. I mean, we're huh? just, I mean Zach Mettenberger, I'm assuming. Bill. I won't see that backup race. So, I'm this, this Anthony Jennings, the – the true freshman mm-hmm. backup. Mm-hmm. I, I think he's going to be more than just an end. I think they're going to use him this year. You just, really believe just that? Just because he's the mobile quarterback. Mm-hmm. Really? And if they do that, instead of that stupid wildcat yeah. that LSU yeah. never did figure out how to yeah. run last yeah. year, I agree with yeah. you. that would be a, a serious upgrade right. to when they want to mix things okay. up. I just, I mean, I... I he had a little it factor, I thought, in the, in the spring game. Really? What, let me, let me jump in here. Just, they they just jump in here. One random thought I'm going to throw uh, out Let me there. throw a random question. All right. What's going on with the Rivers and what's going on with the, the, the transfer out of Penn State? Don't remember his name. Are they non-factors yeah. in the quarterback yeah. race? Yeah. My guess, yeah. I mean, Miles has already said that he expects Jennings to be the backup. Wow. Are you serious? I did well, not know nothing that. else, it get, I mean, I mean uh, Rivers – it's it, style wise, it's just a Mettenberger clone. Right. So if you try right. to mix it right. up, you do well, bring this guy in. He's right. very athletic. I thought he threw the ball pretty well in the spring okay. game. Yeah. And, you know, don't put too much in that. Well, you right. always say that. I know. I, I don't. Yeah. But I'm, I'm saying athletically, he looked fine. Mm-hmm. And I, I just, it's an intriguing, and I'm just wondering how long it is before, we, before you see a little of him just in a mix it up yeah. role. Yeah. If you if you had to do something like the sprint and option, say, he, would, oh, he would be no, the guy. No, it's the old Jordan Jefferson, Jared yeah, Lee, yeah. the that's mobile what was, quarterback. That's and what the I was saying. Drop back. That's what I was going to say. But you know, different, you know, yeah. different variables. But I mean, you know, just work. just looking at what's being said and what's been written about and talked about. I mean, Zach, if they can put him in the shotgun, guys, and just block for a thousand, one thousand, two, a thousand, three. Guys, they telling that's me. The answer to everything, guys, they telling you? me that. Nothing, you think that's the answer to everything, don't you? It, I mean, they're well, telling think, me that LSU is unstoppable, you know, that they can uh, do that. That's what they're telling me, Rick. You know, uh, the more I think about last season, I think that 
And in, in a lot of games, when you when you remember how patched up that offensive line mm -hmm. was yeah. most of most of the season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, a lot of injuries. Well, I think, you know, I, I, I guess it jumped out. I mean, I'm flipping around a couple of weeks ago, and they had the LSU A&M game on, on TV, that best yeah. games of the yeah. year that CST. LSU was mm -hmm. working. I didn't even know it was on. And, uh, but I had forgot, it just stuck out. I mean, they were expecting round receivers to get open with two-man routes. Well, they did at that point. They didn't trust that patched-up offensive yeah. line to be able to protect Mettenberger, and that was the key. Now they didn't give anybody to throw to right. by doing that. But I, I really want to see if Cam Cameron will spread the field a little more. Mm -hmm. I don't care about if you. you know, everybody said throw deep, throw yeah, deep. No, no, yeah. no. Well, be they, creative. They threw deep. 50 times in yeah. that A&M right. game and yeah. completed one. Yeah, be yeah. creative. Look, as we go to break, what won that A&M game? Who won the game? The defense. Yeah, the, the defense. defense corralled the defense. And, 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 and minimized the impact of Johnny Manziel. And you know what? What is it? Eight starters they lost? Yeah. Eight starters? That's a lot, man. You keep That's talking about Mettenberger and a shotgun. Look, I know they got a lot of talent in Baton Rouge, but doggone it, eight starters. And I think out of those eight, five got drafted. Wow. That's, I mean, that is tough. It, it, interesting, interesting correlation. If, if that program is where, and I'm not saying if they should win a national championship, mm -hmm. don't get me wrong, but if that program is where uh, that they think it is, yeah. they should still be good. No, they can no, reload. No, no I agree. Be good. I totally I'm just agree, saying, eight yeah. starters. Interesting correlation. Coach is going to weigh a lot in on that, too. New offensive coordinator for LSU, but that may be a good thing, Cam though. Cameron. New yeah. defensive coordinator for McNeese thing. State, Lance Guidry, known commodity. Yeah. yeah. LSU looking for a tight end. Who has their tight end? The McNeese Cowboys, Nick yeah. Jacobs. Yeah. Interesting little yeah. sidebar correlation there. All right, we're up against the clock again. Okay. Another two and a half minute break. When we come back, we got A-Rod to talk about in Tiger Woods and tipping. A-Rod. Guidry tipped 15 to 20% on takeout. 15 percent on takeout. You have to. Woo. We'll be you right back. To. Stay right here. No, Jack Daniels Bar & Grill at LaBerge Casino Resort, home of Sound Off 60, and Tarver Ford in Sulphur. Give us a chance to earn your business. Round 5 with the boys coming up. Get your free American Press app today. It's all at your fingertips. News, sports, advertising, entertainment, and video delivered through your Apple or Android mobile device. Capture the informative power of the American Press, Southwest Louisiana's premier source for news and advertising. Get your American Press app today. Download it for free through your iTunes or App Store. You'll love the look and feel of our newest digital offering. The app flawlessly delivers the local news most important to you in a new, striking layout. Get your American Press app today. So Todd, there's truck month, then there's Tarver Ford truck month. What happens here? Well, at Tarver Ford, you got 2013 XLT V8, two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive, crew cab pickup trucks, $12,000 off MSRP. You also have 2012 model Lariat four-wheel drive diesels, King Ranch diesel at $12,000 off MSRP. And they all come with lifetime oil changes and lifetime state inspection stickers. Todd, that's a lot of trucks. I told you, at Tarver Ford, exit 21 in Sulphur. Give us a chance to earn your business. All uh, right, we are back at LaBerge Casino as the, our inaugural show of our 19th broadcast year. We're back after a four-week summer yes. break. Good to have the boys back. Gidry Hobbs and Sarah right Always here. Always glad to be back. Uh, look, very, very soon, maybe about a week, week and a half, school starts. Yes, it does. I want to tell you about Big Easy Prepared Microwavable Dinners. Easy. Okay, Big yeah. Easy. That, you're right. There you go, Gidry. <laughs> you keyed in on it, man. Like a good DB, you keep it Always, in on. always, It's easy. Man. You save a lot always. of time. When the kiddies start school, you're going to be going crazy. What's yeah. for dinner? What's for dinner? Think of Big Easy Foods. We want to focus in tonight on their crawfish etouffee. Yes. It comes in 12-ounce servings. Now, if you're a pig like Gidry and Hobbs, you I want need the big to get one. the two-pounder. I want the big one. I they want the big one. They come in 12-ounce individual servings. Yeah and also the two pounder. So check all across Southwest Louisiana at your favorite retailer so for you Big tip Easy pre-prepared dinners. When you buy your Big Easy, if there's somebody, home, if there's tip? somebody that's close by that's actually putting them in the bin, I may tip a few dollars. You may tip them. Not 15% though. <laughs> 
Big Easy Foods. Check it out, BigEasyFoods.com. Yes. All right, guys. Uh, uh, still, we covered a lot of ground. I'm just going to throw this out. We can't do it on this show because yeah. it'll take up half the show. Yeah. But this Johnny Manziel controversy, Look. the allegations of money for autographs, <coughs> the question, the bigger macro question is NCAA, stipends me, for players. Let me tell you. Should he be, no, 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 no. Should he be allowed to, should players be allowed to make money off of, I don't want your opinion. Can I, I can't because comment on that. Time. Yes or no? Just yes or no? Yes. They should get money? Yes, they should. Yes or no? Should they be getting You better say yes. Manziel is, is not a good example of Probably yeah, not. I agree. I agree. Because he's a Heisman Trophy. He's agree. a rich kid. Rick, we've yeah. said this for many years. Rick, you've got kids that leave programs as seniors, and you may get a ring, a watch, some per diem for the bowl game. May come to maybe $2,200. $2,500. I know Look that. what the university has made, $17, $18 million. It's a big thing. I disagree there. I mean, I wrote about this last week. Huh? I wrote about this last week. I know you didn't read, read it. Read his article. Get, so you get get a, Michelle to read it to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and tip her 20% for them. 25. We don't have time, guys. But it's just, uh, but yeah, school. You're going to talk about, oh, yeah. So life's not fair, right? No, it's not. Well, I mean, so what? you get a four-year athletic scholarship. Wonderful, great. But, Scooter, when you see the revenue that these kids bring to these universities, how can you not pay them? I agree that they should have a little walking around money. But it's only feasible, but not where it's not feasible. McNeese certainly can't do it. Agreeable. But uh, it's a bit, I'm, I'm nodding off. I'm, I'm nodding saying, off, guys. I'm just like, guys, you when you look at. Out? I just wanted you, to tease you. When you it's look coming at. Coming up but in a couple real of weeks. Quick, when you look at pro athletes, Granted, they get paid based on how they play but these and their are not years. To I be know pro that. Athletes. I know that. But when you look at these kids, how can a kid leave a university getting per diem, a ring, and a watch, and go off three months later and sign a $20, $50 million contract? Just how so, do you justify but that? Just so few do that. All right, let's, so let's move on. So few do it, but maybe the school had something Ooh, to do with Let's it. move on. We you don't. just All always. Right. This is going to be for another day and another time. Excellent. You just spent four minutes on it. All right. We're New, Orleans, <laughs> New Orleans Saints deep into camp already. Good news is no big news. No real big injuries. A couple yeah. of bruised up guys. Nothing big. Apparently, Vaccaro's hitting people at, at strong safety. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, Drew Brees, again, you know, back. Sean Payton's back. You know, this 3-4 defense. Rob Ryan, that whole thing. So that's good. That's good. First preseason look, game Friday night at the Dome, Kansas City. When you look at Rob oh, Ryan. I can't wait. Can't wait. I can't wait. When you look at Rob Ryan with the hair and everything, who does this guy remind you of? Uh, you say it because you know what I'm thinking about. I nah, know. Who does he, with the hair, the curly hair and stuff, when you see him talking to players and stuff, who does the guy remind you of? Help me out. I'm drawing a blank. I'm drawing a blank. I'm not going to say. Well, you when you can't tease everybody. Exactly when, you look, when you look at the skip on Gilligan Island. <laughs> <laughs> the skipper on Gilligan See, Island? I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do really? that, man. The skipper, I didn't want he to... didn't have long hair, did he? Yeah, it was, he, he, he looked really? like the skipper. <laughs> did he? I'm drawing a complete blank. I watched Gilligan Somebody's going to say, Kev, you know no, you're right. Oh, I Can don't. I do a column on that? Look at him. Look you at him. Got some I looked at him the other day and I was like, who does this guy remind me the of? Skipper. And the, the skipper, skipper from Gilligan Island. Right, look, came as, to mind. as we move Who's on to little buddy. As we move on, <laughs> yeah, the little buddy. As we move on to A-Rod, look, one oh. thing, look, I'm still nervous about Chris Ivy, not Ivory, yes. not being on this roster. I, I am. Okay, I'm just, I love well, Pierre Thomas. Well, we said Thomas. that, but what do we do, Rick? How do you keep okay, him? He's gone. How do you keep him? He's, he's gone. I mean, the, the other guy, Jets. I mean, it was going to be between him and the other guy. And apparently, uh, uh. You know, you know, we, we knew that was going to happen. out there, Thomas, yeah. Ingram, maybe somebody come to the fall. Yeah. I just like Chris. All right, but, but let's but move I, on. Yeah, I agree with you to that degree. Alex I, he was Rodriguez. Hard. Alex Rodriguez, a -Rod. What is the biggest mistake that he makes in all of this, Rick? Who? The biggest mistake, Alex. He lied. That's it. He lied. He lied yeah. years Born ago? None. If you don't lie, could you to some degree feel some sympathy? This Scooter, is, this is if a huge you, story. If just didn't lie about it. If you did it but didn't lie about I it. I just have a... Big, big, tough time working up sympathy for hundred million. Well, I know you was gonna say well, that. You know, I know you. I don't say blame that. him for wanting to play and wanting to continue to play. The process, the way it's it, the way it's outlined with the collective bargaining agreement and the union and Major League Baseball, uh, Bud Selig did not invoke the best interest of baseball. He just suspended him for right. 210 games. If it's upheld, he's out until he's 40 years old. 
2015. Mm -hmm. He's suspended for that long. Yeah. This is a major suspension. He has a right no, to appeal, major. and he has a right to play until the appeals process yeah. runs its course. You can't blame him for that. It's just. Is he a liar? Yes. Just, is yes, he a user? Yes. 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 Did he Poor cheat? Old yes. yes. Poor old Yankees. Poor old Yankees. Yeah. Well, you're a Cardinal fan, so you have no sympathy. Uh, but that's why. But I, I just. But you know what, Rick? You say, does it stop with him? That's the big no, question. 12 other guys. Does it stop with 12 him? 12 other guys got 50 game suspension. Ryan Braun, rest of the year from there. He's a two time, yeah. supposedly, uh, 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 offender. I don't, know, I don't know where this ends. There's always going to be a drug it's, out there. They're going to find. A, they're going to try to find an and advantage. And you've got guys that's find a way to beat systems. Because these. baseball, your beloved game, you can sign these. You've got these unbelievable ironclad contracts yeah. for an enormous amount of money. You can. Speaking of baseball, enormous so you amount know, of money. Did, did, did I tell you all the really big news in the month while we were away. Tell us, Help please. Me. I went to an Astro game and caught a foul ball. Did you really? I yes, thought we sir. talked about that no, on the show. Did, did, we, did no, you? Maybe, maybe not. July. Maybe not. Well, maybe we did because it was actually in June. I didn't write that's about right, it until that's right. July. Maybe First one did. ever. I mean, I hadn't been to many that wasn't well, in the press box. Well, you know. Oh, yeah. I glove mean, or bare hand? Did you catch it? I mean, did you catch it? Did you just? No, I didn't okay. take a glove. <laughs> Yeah, you had in the car. You had in the car trunk. You just didn't want to bring it out. You had it. Well, that's cool. Yeah, you had, you had in the car. You know, that's cool. I have a way of making the incredibly difficult look routine. Yeah. You know? Okay. Okay. You didn't, okay. Didn't, you didn't re-injure the elbow doing it. Yeah. Huh? You know, no, doing, I didn't take this, it out. Yeah. this one in the eye. Yeah, I didn't take it in the eye. <laughs> All right, we're up against the clock again. By the way, here we go. Is our different shots of Jack yes. Daniels? Yes. You like this? Sprucing <laughs> like it up it. for love, 2013. Love. Yeah. All right, when we come back, time to stump the wise guys. The beauties yeah. of LaBerge are Already. coming back. We got Tiger Woods to talk about. What could this week be about? We'll end the argument. Do you tip on takeout? We'll do the yes, vote. Yes, you do. You have to tip on takeout. Well, we you know have your to. vote. We'll do that you more when we come back. Stay right here. Sound Off 60 is presented by Tarver Ford Sulphur. Give us a chance to earn your business. And by Jack Daniels Bar and Grill at LaBerge Casino Resort. Philip, you guys have been here for three years. I see the blue tags everywhere. How's it going? Oh, we've made great progress, Judd. We've got people coming from Westlake to Quincy, Hackberry, uh, Vinton, even coming across the bridge in Lake Charles, Moss Bluff, and Iowa. It's not that far, and we really are having a great time serving them and seeing people respond to us. So, Todd, give me an example of what you got going on here. Well, Judd, we got a $2.99 a month lease on the F-150 crew cab, and as always, complimentary lifetime oil changes. We've got a great group of people here working real hard to serve our customers. So come see us at Tarver Ford, exit 21 in Sulphur. Dr. Cassio is my choice. Dr. Cassio is my choice. Dr. Cassio is my choice. Dr. Brett Cassio is fellowship trained and board certified in both orthopedics and sports medicine. He has the tools, techniques, and experience to get athletes back on the field to play. Call 337-494-4900. Dr. Brent Cassio is the official sports medicine physician of Sound Off 60. Wow. You see what I see? You know I see it. I seen it before you did it. You? Come on, man. You know I saw that before you even said anything. Say what? Tell me what you see. You already know what I'm seeing. <laughs> so you see what I'm saying, right? I saw it. I'm seeing it right now. I'm looking right at it. Never right, right. Get this. Get this. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. The new bottle? What's there to say? The new Miller Lite bottle. Find one at a bar near you. Welcome back to Jack Daniels at LaBarris Casino. Final round here of Sound Off 60 to show our first show back of yes. our 19th broadcast year. And what better way to end the show with the lovely Cameron and the lovely Krista to do uh, something. Glad to have the ladies here, here tonight go. with us. All right, I know he's all dressed up in his Gucci Hugo Boss. This is every day. Penny, Come on now, this is every day. <laughs> and I'm so any favorites from the Gidry over there. You tip right? your tailor? Yeah, do, oh, yeah. But you admit you well, do have Before we get into it. I pay him enough. These girls are professionals, okay? Pay him way before too much. Before we get into it, quickly. Sh 
Should someone tip takeout? You gonna ex? Uh, well, uh, of course. Really? How much? Rick. How I mean, much? just a, just a, a fifty dollar bill. If you were bringing up a fifty dollar order. You know, look. anything helps. Anything That's works. what I'm saying. That's a smart girl. She's gonna go places. I'm telling you. I mean, you. we would take that, of course. Of course. Of no of doubt. Of course. Really? <laughs> no doubt. Of course. But these two guys don't believe. I'm not going to say no to any I'm of it. Stacked against these two guys don't believe in tip and takeouts. They just no, don't believe it. I'm just, they just I'm won't sorry, do it. Takeout. I say, hey, I'm going to do I ten mean, to fifteen percent. What? Dude, That's, I what I That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. See, well, what's right. the difference, huh? What's the difference, Scooter? You have a server. Yeah, and I, I, I don't need okay. a lot of Sonic, but I have. You're yeah. Right. Okay. All right. All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, so it's Question time to one. test your knowledge of LSU versus Texas team. There you what? Go, Hobbs. There right. you go. We're here we go. Bell, here we go. This Banging is the second straight year LSU will open the season against a Texas team. Who did they kick off last year against? Uh, North Texas. North Texas. Right. I would. Yeah. I'd have He's to agree. I, I, I would I agree. Yes. Y'all yeah. all right? Yeah. Okay. I would agree. Chris. Very good, Scooter. The Tigers will open against TCU August 31st in Dallas. When was the last time LSU battled TCU and who won? Oh. Ooh. I don't know if it was the last time. Ooh. Uh, TCU, the Horn Frogs. They haven't played them in the 30-something oh, years. Huh? Yeah, I, I wasn't there. Really? I, don't, I don't think I was there when it happened. So do the math. Sure. So. I'm going to take a stab here. Uh, it was like the second or third Sugar Bowl. Back in the 30s. Oh, and God, TCU Scooter. won the game 3-2. to two. Is that your guess? Are you yeah. serious? Oh, it had to be before that. Or after that. 1968 was the last meeting, and the Tigers I wouldn't hear yet. 10-7. Uh -huh. to seven. Uh, <laughs> Okay, Sugar very good. Bowl, it was like, yeah, it was like but that's pretty good, though, Scooter. It snowed. It was ice everywhere. It was in the old Sugar Bowl. Yeah. yeah. And TCU won it 3-2. to two. Wow. That's a tough one. <laughs> that was a tough one. No, she still has it. Oh, okay. Krista. Mm -hmm. Still Krista. Of the four major Texas teams, Texas, Texas A&M, Baylor, and TCU, the Tigers have a winning record against only two of them. What two Texas teams has LSU defeated more times than not? I'm going to tell you because I played against well, them. What's A&M? I'm going to say A&M is one they of them. They do have a winning record against A&M. Boom. I told you, Daddy, because I was in on that because we spanked the them. Because we spanked them. Well, the four, that's, I, would, I would put Texas Tech as a major Texas school. Uh, they, so they, they listed they four. They yeah. So it's A&M, Texas, Texas, Baylor, and TCU. That's the ones they listed. Uh, she said the two schools, though. I'm saying you'd have A&M. You don't have to say TCU and Baylor. They've got winning records against TCU and Baylor. I don't know Come about on. Baylor because they haven't played Baylor much. It's got to be Baylor and TCU. I know they TCU. lost to Baylor in two bowl games. Uh, I doubt they got a winning record against Texas. I'm, I'm gonna say I don't know Texas. about A&M. I'm, I'm going to say Texas and Texas A&M. Wait, I'm, winning records? I'm going to say win. That. Wait a minute, think about what you're saying. Then they're losing against TCU. I know what I'm saying. Okay, go for it. Give I may be wrong, but I Good know boy. what I'm saying. Give it go. to us. Krista, I, I think he's wrong. <laughs> okay. I think he's wrong. TCU, 5-2-1 favoring LSU. Baylor, 8-3 favoring LSU. Yeah. What? Yeah. What's, what's a and &M? What is a and &M? They have a winning record against a and they got a, I'm going to tell you, look. A&M is 20-28-3. Let me tell you why I didn't say Baylor. 20 and 28. So LSU Baylor, has lost, and, and they're a losing record against Texas. They probably didn't play Texas very much, right? Texas is, is all I was, uh -huh. was going to say no because Baylor beat us in the bowl game, remember? But, so but, if it happened to you, that's... But, yeah. Well, no, but I'm saying it was kind of scooter like for me to say, you do I wouldn't the research say them because uh, we beat A&M like more times. That's like losing Vanderbilt. <laughs> yeah, right. You check it. You, all right, last all right, one. Bonus, bonus question. question. I might need y'all's help on this one. Right. In his final season as LSU head coach, Bill Arnsparth yeah. won the SEC championship in 1986, uh -huh. but lost to what team in what bowl by what score? That was the bowl game, I want to say. 1986, that was the loss to Nebraska by uh, Sugar, Bowl? Sugar Bowl. You said it was the Sugar, Sugar Bowl? Bowl? It, was Sugar it was Nebraska. It was Nebraska. It was Nebraska. Did you not what play in it? score? Uh, oh, they beat us bad. 28-6. 30, 30, 30, 30-15. Did you not play in it? I did, but you know what it was? When she said that, it didn't click right then. But yeah, Sugar Bowl. Well, you when she a sugar concussion bowl. in the game? You don't remember? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, my Unbelievable. goodness. All right, yeah. Cameron, Christopher. Sugar Bowl. Appreciate. Thank you, ladies. Great job. Great job. Great great job. They stumped us. They I don't, stumped I don't, us. I don't, I don't know. They got us on Texas. That was a curveball on that one.
I would have thought that we had a winning up. record. I'm almost certain they I'm, have Rick, a winning record. Rick, research it. Research it. The two years that we played a and we beat them. I mean, I would think that we would have had a winning record. I, I got to go. The Trivia Master. They've been playing. They played a and like Trivia Master. Times. What can you say? But yeah. Baylor. I would never thought we would have had a winning record. You research it. Let's see, if, let's see if y'all can prove so the trivia master on. All right, we're running out of time. You Guys, it's coming up this week. It's always about you, isn't it? It's always got to be about you. Check out Trinity, the Trinity Baptist Gym, Barb High School Gym, St. Yeah. Louis Gym. The 19th Annual Tournament of Stars is this week. Great fundraiser. Yes, yes. Harold McReynolds and all his volunteers puts on a great show. They've been doing a that lot for of basketball years, talent comes into the southwest Louisiana yes. region to play some great it's games. So check it out here. this weekend across across Lake Charles gyms and so much more. PGA Championship is this week at Oak Hill uh, in yes. New York. Well, that's going to be a great Tiger Woods coming off a big win at yes, Bridgestone. So a lot of stuff going on. will not win the PGA. Uh, a lot of stuff going on. More on Johnny Menzel. More on Jeremy Manziel. Hill. More on the Saints all next week. Uh, we'll do it all again right here at Jack Daniels. Until right. then, we'll see y'all. We'll see you later, everybody. Sound Off 60 is presented by Tarver Ford in Sulphur. Give us a chance to earn your business. And by Jack Daniels Bar and Grill at La Berge Casino Resort. Sound Off 60 airs on Suddenly Cable Channel 60 Monday through Sunday nights, 9 p.m. And again Saturday and Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Sound Off 60 also airs throughout the week on Communicom Cable Channel 6 at 9 p.m. across Southwest Louisiana. Check your local listings. Post your questions and comments for the boys and access our website links at soundoff60.com.